In this example, we're going to look at a DC circuit, specifically an unstrained Wheatstone bridge. So a Wheatstone bridge is what you see here in the diagram. In this case, I've put five resistors on the bridge, but technically you can put any circuit element you want on each branch and in the middle of the bridge. So my question is, what is the power dissipated in resistor little r? So let's begin by using Kirchhoff's rules and drawing in some uh, currents. So the red arrows represent the currents in the circuit. These are my guesses as to which way the current is going to go. And they'll be labeled I1 through I4 for each resistor, R1 through R4, I little r for the uh, resistor little r, and I naught for the current in the outer branch going through the battery V. So there are six total. So now we can use Kirchhoff's loop rule and node rule to solve for the currents. So we'll start with the node rule. I look at the top node, I have I0 going in, I1 and I3 going out. I look at the second node, I have I1 going in, IR and I2 going out. Third node, I3 and IR going in, I4 going out. And technically I could look at that last node and it would give me a valid equation, but it is linearly dependent, meaning I can take those first three equations, rearrange them and get that fourth equation. So it's not going to give us any more information. So let's go to the loop rule now. I'm going to draw a loop on the outside of the circuit and through the left side of the Wheatstone bridge. And I got plus 10 going through the battery, minus I1 R1, minus I2 R2 is 0. And I can substitute in R1 and R2 and simplify. I can do it on the other side of the bridge, plus 10 going through the battery minus I3 R3, minus I4 R4 is equal to 0. And once again, I can plug in R3 and R4 and simplify. And finally, I can choose a, a final path that goes through the top left of the bridge, through the center, and then the bottom right of the bridge. Remember, I can choose any paths I want, and these are the three paths that I just happen to choose. So once again, uh, I get plus 10, minus I1 R1, minus i r times little r, minus i4 r4 equals 0, and plugging in the numbers, I get i1 plus i r plus i4 equals 1. So there we go. Those are all six of the equations that I've determined so far. I now have six equations and six unknowns. You can use whatever method you want to solve this system of equations. I would recommend using MATLAB or some other linear algebra solver, and in this case I actually use Octave, which is essentially an open source version of MATLAB. So I plugged in my coefficient matrix, uh, my uh, answers, and uh, I calculated my uh, currents. And at the very bottom there, you'll see that IR is equal to zero amps. There is no current going through that center resistor. So what's the power dissipated? I squared R is equal to zero. A few final thoughts. First, we can use Kirchhoff's laws to solve for the properties of a circuit. Uh, in this case, we solve for all the currents simultaneously. What I mean by that is uh, we set up some matrix or use linear algebra and solve for all the currents. Now you don't have to, sometimes a problem is a little bit easier and you can solve for them one at a time, but in this case we solve for them all together. Uh, and a question for you is how would this problem change if the voltage increases across that Wheatstone bridge? 